You welcome Jonathan Camps. Thank you so much. Nice to be back. I, uh, I had a rough night last night around 3 in the morning. I think I hear someone breaking in, so I call 911. A voice says, if there's an intruder in your home and you're calling from a touchstone phone, <laughs> press 1. If there's an intruder in your home and you're calling from a rotary phone, hit the intruder with the rotary phone. <laughs> Turns out it was, uh, it was nothing. I'm just not used to the sounds of the suburbs. I, I grew up in New York City. I, uh, I met my wife there, which is pretty amazing to meet a woman in New York. To make eye contact with a woman in New York is not so easy. The only way to do that is to walk about three feet behind her at night. <laughs> It's a scary place. It's, uh, I was mugged. Big guy like me, Midtown Manhattan, broad daylight. And this is a, uh, it's a terrifying experience. The things that race through your mind, phrases you haven't used since you were a kid, like, I'll be your best friend. <laughs> but I still love New York. My uncle, my uncle still lives there. Sad story, this guy, 10 years ago, was a prominent judge in New York City. Now he's a wino living in Central Park. <laughs> But out of respect, people still say, may I approach the bench, and that's sweet. <laughs> yes. Hey, some, uh, some good news. I, uh, I'm about to become a dad for the second time, and this is, uh, thank you so much. Very excited. My wife had the uh, ultrasound last week, and we saw the baby's heartbeat, and now the technology is so sophisticated, they can actually tell you the baby's name. <laughs> Went through uh, natural childbirth classes. Great place to meet chicks. If, uh, <laughs> if, if, you're, uh, if you're into the full-figured gal, and, uh, you can be reasonably sure these girls put out, so I... Uh, <laughs> no, I, I joke about it. My wife, God bless her, was in labor for 32 hours, and uh, I, I was faithful to her the entire time. <laughs> To witness the birth of your own child, you can read about it, you can see pictures, but to be there and to see the stork penetrate the uterus is, uh, <laughs> it's magic. My daughter is thrilled. She can't wait for the baby. She's eight. And this kid has me totally wrapped around her little finger. I don't even try to win anymore. I try and save face. I say things to her like, go to your room at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Okay, Daddy's going to count to 1,500. <laughs> I can't believe I have an eight-year-old. It, it seems like yesterday that she spoke her first words. My wife and I were having breakfast. She was in the den watching Mr. Rogers from three rooms away. We hear, I'm not your stupid neighbor. <laughs> Apparently, it had been building up. Uh, well, thank you very much. A sad story in, uh, in today's paper. The number one killer in the United States still is heart disease, and, and the major cause now is stress, and that's the sad part, because stress is something that we inflict on ourselves. I bought a quart of milk today. I look at the container, it says, must sell by August 12th. <laughs> I don't need that kind of pressure. <laughs> I'm on the phone all day trying to unload the milk. <laughs> no. I understand that, that being married actually reduces the risk of heart attack, or anything exciting, really. <laughs> it's, um, the truth is, uh, we don't go out anymore, my wife and I. We sit at home in front of the TV for hours and hours, so one of us turns it on. It's not good. <laughs> Never go to the movies anymore, you rent them, right? That's the trend. I was reading that by the year 2000, one out of three American homes will have an usher. It's unsettling. This, of course, is a, uh, it's a tough racket for a married guy. I uh, am in the clubs every night. I meet attractive women. You can imagine. I... <laughs> Can't you? Oh, it was at a uh, club last night. A lady follows me to the bar. She says, tell me, is it true? Do you really have a wife and a kid? I said, lady, this is an act. I'm not even bald. <laughs> but, uh... yes. 
I have a good marriage. <laughs> but uh, lately I think that my wife has been fooling around because our parrot keeps saying, give it to me now before my husband John Katz comes home. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.